so it's late at night and it's Friday and I am seasoning my Benin for tomorrow um, if you don't got the recipe for Benin um, browse through my channel and I have a recipe for Benin there and you can know how to make it the only thing I didn't add was sazon it's like this red coloring seasoning you know it comes in a little pack I didn't add that um, tomorrow I'm gonna make something with this I'm gonna make a hibarito but with pork that's what I'm gonna do if you look at my channel again I have another hibarito recipe but it's with steaks so tomorrow I'm gonna make it with pork but I'm gonna make the pork different I'm gonna put this in the crock pot um let it cook for like a few hours make sure that it's very soft and tender where it's basically falling off nice and shredded and then I'm going to add some barbecue and that's how I'm going to make it. So I'm going to make barbecue pork like in a form of a hibarito sandwich. So let's see how that goes because I never ate it like that and I never did it like that. Um, so let's see how that goes. So I already finished seasoning it like I said. I'm going to wrap it up with some aluminum for you and, to, and tomorrow I'll go and I'll put it in my crock pot real early let it cook for a few hours tomorrow there's a parade over here in connecticut um like a latin parade with different um different nationalities so i'm gonna go um with my kids this is just like two blocks away from where i live at so i could just pick up and go go with my kids buy a few things um over there buy food buy some goodies um, spend time with me and the kids, have a little fun, and then come back and do the recipe. So, see you tomorrow, guys. So, I put the benin in the crock pot. It's not a big benin. It's like a half a benin. But that's okay because, you know, it's just me and the kids. So, I'm going to put this low. Because I wanted to cook for a few hours. Put the top on and just forget it. So it's. Well, let me look at the time. It's 8 21 in the morning. So I'll probably take this out like at 3. It won't burn because if you know about crock pots, it, it cooks everything very, very slow like a slow process so I want it to be like as soon as I take it out it's shredding apart that's the that's what I want so it's slow and we'll be back when I take it out so here is the pork um the bending pork shoulder half of one getting a spoon and I just took it out of, excuse me, hold on, of the crock pot. And you remove the fat from the top. And look at how slow this, oh look at this. This is a piece of bone, it just broke. All right, and look at how soft this is just shredding into pieces look that's why i did it in the crock pot because look at how how it's shredding i don't want to do too much of it um some of them i'm gonna shred because i'm gonna put half away because i'm gonna make it with some rice and etc etc and then i'm gonna do the other half with barbecue because that's how I'm going to make my hibarito sandwich today. So I'm going to shred this up. But I'm going to shred real good. I'm going to shred the one that I'm going to do the hibarito sandwich real, real good. Like very shredded up. Okay. And the other one I'm going to leave it like in little chunks for the rice, the beans, and the stuff I'm going to make for my, for my family. 
Um, only I think I think only me and my older son is gonna be the one to eat the hibarito sandwich. So, and my other kids are gonna have rice beans and bini regular. So let me just shred this up, and we'll be back. I finished shredding everything, and I put half away for the kids, as you can see. And I left some of his juice. Remember the juice that I showed you earlier that was in the bottom? I drained it out, you know, in case there was any funniness in the bottom. And then I re-put the juice back in there. And I'm, you know, retouching it up basically. And I'm also going to add, this is my ajo, my garlic sauce. If you don't know what this is, then you know what? You need to take a good look at my totone recipe. And this is just simple crushed, um, fresh, fresh crushed garlic with just a little bit of white vinegar, salt, and pepper. Mix it, taste it. If it tastes good to you, then this is it. You can add this to your totones, but you could also add it to your penning. So, what I'm gonna do is just gonna add a little bit, like a spoon. All right. Mix this up. So I can have a nice garlicky taste. Alright. And what I'm going to do with this is put it back in the slow, um, slow cooker that I have because my slow cooker, it depends what kind of um, crock pot you have. Um, mine's got, um, hold on. Um, it got three buttons. Well, it got four. It got the off button, of course. And then it got the keep warm button, which, you know, it's just to keep your food nice and warm. And then it got low, so you could really do it like a, like, like a slow cooking. And then it got the high. Um, I had cooked this very low for, like, I'm not gonna lie, for like eight hours, okay? So, anyway, um, I'm gonna put it back on the crock pot and keep it warm so by the time i finish serving this with rice and beans it's gonna have a nice garlicky taste bending all right so let me do that now hold on okay so now let's go to here sorry for the little mess i got pots everywhere And this is the one that I shredded for my hibarito sandwich and stuff. Yeah, for my hibarito sandwich. And I put a lot because it's just me and my older son that's going to eat this. So I'm going to put this low. I shredded it up. Don't worry. It's not, it's not, it's not cold. I mean, it's not hot. It's, it's very cold now. And I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic. Even though we're going to add this on the totones, you'll see in the end. But I'm just going to add a little bit. All right? And just a little bit. With a little bit of even the olive oil, you know? I like a lot of garlic. I'm just going to put a little bit more. But you don't have to add a lot of garlic. And the rest I'm going to save for the ending when I brush it with the ajo on top of the totone. All right? We're going to do that. And because I always say that I always overcrop everything, over chop in both there. So I got still a little bit of um, red pe um, green pepper, sorry. I'm, I got a little issue going on and my mind is somewhere else, but I'm going to focus right now. So there yeah, we have this just a little bit, just to bring out the colors. Put that aside. And like I always say, I always overdoing it. Got a little bit of of onions, just a little bit because I'm gonna also add red onion slice. You'll see it towards the end. So just add that in there. And I got the red one, just a little bit though. So do that. Let me mix this. Let me put a little high. And I know it looks a little dried up now, 
and that's fine. Now you could do your own barbecue sauce and one day I will show you a recipe because I know how to make my own. But I'm trying to do shortcuts today. So this is what I'm going to do. I got a nice bottle of Jack Daniels Honey Smokehouse barbecue sauce and this is what I'm going to use for the pending. You could use any barbecue sauce or like I said you could make your own make your own and then add it to your to your pork. So I'm going to open this up because this is brand new. Give me one second and we're going to add it. One day I'll sorry hold on one day what I'm going to do is I am going to do a recipe on how to make your own barbecue sauce one day when I have a little time but today is Sunday and I just want to relax so I'm going to add a little bit at a time because I want it a little you know like a little a little wet but I don't want it too much either you know okay now let me put it out I don't want it to get, you know. Okay, I'm going to put more barbecue sauce. And take up. All right. Okay. Okay, this is looking good. <laughs> A little bit more. And like I said, any kind of barbecue sauce you want to use. This is basically done. But I still got to put it aside because now I got to fry the platano, which that's going to be next. Alright, so this is done. This is your barbecue pork. And I'm going to taste it right now. It tastes very, very good. I'm going to put that aside, then I'm going to go and do the, um, the platano. We'll be back. So I got my pot of oil very low. I put the, the barbecue pork here. I have it in the back of the stove so it could keep warm. And I got my garlic in the back as well. I'm going to move along right here. Sorry the water is running. But, hold on. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut the platano to make your hibaritos. I got two platanos, not sweet platanos, plantain. And let's cut them up. I usually make three lines like this. Now some people, they just peel it off. Like, you know, they just peel it off like that. I don't like to do that. Because sometimes the skin stays on and I don't want to be, you know, cutting. So I put it in hot water for like a few minutes. No, not a few minutes. Like a minute or two maybe. So, let's do that right now. I have the other one in water, in hot water. That's why you hear the water running. I also got my onions. I sliced it up, look. Very thin. We're gonna add it to our Hibarito sandwich. I still gotta do the, um, the lettuce, tomatoes, and then I'll show you what else. All right, put that in the back. Give me a minute. Okay, you know what, let me turn this off. I will be back when it's, when it's you know, hot enough for me to peel. So as you can see in the back, let me put it a little close up. Um, I got the 
salad, the lettuce, I'm sorry, <laughs> lettuce. And I cut them like this, for well, that way when I make the jibaritos, it will be good to go. And I got here my, um, um, blah, 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 my tomatoes. And I cut them in half, because this was a very big tomato. But if you got small ones, leave it whole, like round. I cut them in half. And once again, I still got my onions, purple onions. If you don't got purple onions and you got the other ones, go ahead and use it. So, let's go back over here. Excuse all the noise. My kids are hyped. Um, and then, this is what I'm going to do with the platanos. Cut them. Okay, that's one side. That is the second side. Don't worry about the mess in the back. And that's it. All right, so let me cut the other one. So we here we have the platanos. Now, I don't know if I should cut them in half because they look tight small to me um let me see hmm you know what I'll make little platanos with this put these aside put that aside now usually what I would have done with this was put it in wa um, salted water for like maybe like 10 15 minutes, I, I you know, it's good to do that, but I'm not gonna do that today. Today, I'm just gonna put it in the fryer. And you wanna go be quiet around, be very careful, okay? Don't worry, we'll cut them up. Okay, we're gonna do that one on this side. All right. And there you go. All right, and I'm gonna make little platanitos with this. You know why not? Why are we gonna throw this away? We can make like four loose platanos with some ajo. Why not? You common eyes up in here. And we got here our pot. Uh, let me turn this right. And sprinkle some water. Hold on. That's how I do it. Some people put a wooden spoon, and that's how they know their oil is hot. And apparently it is. So let's put a little closer, zoom it in. And then start putting our platanos. You want to put this like on medium heat. You don't want it to cook so fast either. So let's get this done. My son is here with me, so if you hear like little <laughs> little noise, you know. They follow me everywhere. I tell you, they follow me everywhere. Peanut, close the door to the front, just in case Nene left it. Okay, well, Pina, go double check, you know? Okay. And of course, I'm gonna make my little platanitos. Why not? Yeah, for a cook. So, I'm gonna let this cook, and when it's finished, I will show you how it's supposed to look like. The rice is done. The beans are done. The other half of the pending is in the crock pot, nice and warm. Um, my older son took a piece of that, and he was like, mm, "Mommy, this tastes so good." And now we're doing the totones for the hibarito sandwich. So I want to start taking these little babies out. They're already done. 
All right, you know what? Let's move it over here. You want to put it on a paper towel to, you know, to take out the excess oil. And oopsie daisy. There you go. Taking out the other ones. And I'm not gonna try to flatten it out now because it is too hot. Wait like three minutes, okay? So, um, wait three more minutes and then I'll show you how to flatten it up. We're gonna flatten up platano, so I'm gonna do one. And since I don't got nothing to really flatten it out, this is how I'm gonna do it. This is how I did it the first video, the other one that I did. See, oh my goodness, I think it's gonna break a little bit here. Let's do another one. Uh, I push them aside. You don't want them to break. Let me do the other one. Push them aside because they could break. Until it's really fried, then you can mess with it. It's still soft because remember it just fried once. What game is that? That's what is that? Talking time. Oh. Okay. And as you can see, I also flatten my other ones. These are little ones though. Okay. And there you can see it close by. And I'm gonna start frying them. Let me try. Time to fry. I'm thinking if I should put two at a time. Because I don't wanna like. Yeah, I'm gonna do two at a time. There's only two hibaritos anyway, so you could put this on medium heat. And I will show you what you're looking for. All right? And we're also gonna assemble it. So we have, it's already fried. Look at the nice color. And this is the other one, looks a little okay, but this is the one I'm gonna use for the Hibarito sandwich because it's just exactly the same size. So, and the other ones, are frying so we're gonna assemble everything together yay time to assemble the hibaritos mm, wow, good. I already gave my son his Nene I would taste it's magically delicious okay so he ate, he's eating his and I'm about to make mine okay and you see this part I'm, I'm gonna use that for the, you know, for the top, and I'm gonna put the mayonnaise on the parts where you cut it at the middle. I think it looks better that way. So we're gonna add some mayonnaise. Then it, it tastes good with the mayonnaise like that. Mm -hmm. I have another um um hibarito recipe um with the steaks. I guess that's the one that's the more traditional way to do it. This way, I mean, maybe there is a, a barbecue pork hibarito around there somewhere, but I try to make it a little bit my own. I was like, let me make a hibarito, but different. 
And I decided to add the barbecue and just kind of make it my own. So I added some mayonnaise. The other hibari thought I added like a mayo ketchup. Half mayonnaise, half ketchup, and mix it up with a little bit of onion powder. So let me get this first. Wait a minute before I do that. On one side, you wanna, wait a minute. Fits perfect. All right. And I'm gonna add the pork on top. You can see all the little peppers. Then I take good. Let me see. Okay, I guess you do like it. My son dogged his. Then there's more too. Um, more shredded, shreddedness going on here. That is a good, pretty, pretty picture. Put a little bit of speckles in there for presentation. You know how I feel about presentation. Mm. It really tastes good. You don't do this. That's it. All right. I'm gonna do this. And you see this one? I'm gonna add cheese. I think the other one I did it with, what, the other one I did it with mozzarella cheese, right? I think the other, um, no, was it cheddar cheese or something? Anyway, my, just look at my other hibarito sandwich and combine what I did it with. But this one, I'm, I didn't, I don't think I added American cheese. This one, I'm going to add American cheese. And I'm going to, why use a whole one? You, you could just break this one in half. If you want to add more cheese, that's fine. And I'm going to put this in the oven while I'm putting everything on for a few minutes fucking melt. So, give me a minute. All right. I hope it melts. Let's put this real hot. Sorry, let me put it back on focus. All right. So now I'm gonna add um, the onions, no, 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 I should add the, the, the tomatoes, and now I'm going to add the onions. I like a lot of onions, but not too much. I don't want it to taste too much like onions, so let's do the, you know, a little bit like this. Then you want more in it? All right, my son already finished his, by the way. And when my kids finish all their food, that only means one thing. It tastes really good, so please do this. All right, so you know what? Wait like one more minute, then I'll come back. I don't want to make this video long. Hold on. Okay, the cheese is almost melted. Um, but look, with the other totones, is my son ate his really quick. I decided to do, how you call that, sliders? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, mini hibarito sliders. <laughs> so yeah, because that's the, my son really wants more. And all I made was, like like I said, only two platano. I didn't think he was going to like it. Nana here. So I'm going to cut the cheese like, according to my totone sliders. <laughs> here, you want this other cheese? Yep. And thank goodness I got the little onions. See? I always do little inventions. Look at that, look. <laughs> it's cute, right? We probably are not going to have to do a little tutorial on this. Nah. <laughs> we probably not going to do this. Right, hold on. And I'm going to cut a half of this. That is good though. Just a little party. Yeah. Yeah. My, you see, my son is right. You know, you want to throw a little party. You understand? You These are little appetizers. Yeah, <laughs> little appetizers. Then let me get two, um, um, two, um, como tu dice, um, let me get, um, two toothpicks. I'm probably going to take a little picture of this, Nene. 
because like this is a good idea. Appetizers. <laughs> then I'm gonna take a picture of this. I can't. For real, this is mad cute. Who would have thought? My son just wanted more, and I was like, "You want me to make it for you in the little platanos?" He was like, "Hell yeah!" I was like, "Hi." Right. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Where's the little ajito? And look. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, man, that looks goody goody. I think it looks good like this. You can have it in one bite. The thing is, I could have it. <laughs> yeah, I know you would. Shoot. All right, so let me just take a little picture of this, and I'm gonna take the other platano out with the cheese. So I just wanted to show you that I played it the little hibarito sliders. That's what we're gonna name it now, right? Hibarito sliders. And I'm gonna take a picture of this, and I'm gonna also put it in like in the end of the video. And like I said, love. Well, not like I said. My son was like, you should put that in a party. You could, you understand? So, another little idea for, you see, we always put everything to use in this house. There was four little platanos that I said, let me just go and make it, you never know, and look, came in handy. Okay, so, back to my hibarito, that's probably a little cold because I'm taking pictures, but that's okay, that ain't gonna stop me from taking a bite. Um, so I did that, look, the cheese is melted. Put it on top. Look at that and looky looky. All right, I'm gonna turn it. What I'm gonna do now is cut it. And you gotta be real careful when you cut it. Try not to press. And where is the ajo? I make my ajo like a little chunky because I like the garlic and I'm adding a lot of ajo because I like a lot of garlic in my... Is you finished? No. My son ate and he said he wants the rest of the shredded um, the shredded, um, pork, so I'm gonna give him that, too. No, 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 get a spoon. You're gonna eat all of that for real? Alright. Um, and let me get two picks. Where is the two? Okay, I got it right here. No, no, I got it right here. You don't want no more in it, just put it aside. I'll put it away for you. Shit. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> Alrighty. You see the cheese oozing right there? Nice, nice. And you put this there to keep it whole. So when you serve it, it's nicely served. So, um, this is how it looks. And I'm going to serve it with some nice white rice. Because I don't want, um, beans and closer look hold on a minute i know where you can see it at hold on okay i know i'm making my videos longer by me keep showing you this but i just want to tell you how i combined it with a case one day you want to serve it with with two people i have beans but i don't know if y'all know i don't like beans all i like is pork and beans and white beans i don't like red kidney beans I don't like, I don't like red beans, I don't like kidney beans, I don't like black beans, I don't like those beans. I like the gandules and pork beans, those are my only, the only beans I eat. And since I made red beans, I don't have it in this plate. But if you do happen to make this, you can make it with beans, maybe put it right here, you know, to complete the dish. I'm only eating with white rice, so this is how it looks afterwards. And um, I took the leftover lettuce, tomatoes, and 
not the lettuce, just put tomatoes, a couple of slices of onions, and a little bit of cilantro. Just when I take the picture, like I usually take a picture, it will be good for garnish, okay? So that's why I have it there. So this is the ending of the video. So bye. <laughs>